It's not so easy to find because it's underground. Even if you visit Badlar, you are unlikely to find this place. And without Fahid, I would never be able to see that. Salam! So that artist waving the this carpet. Assalamualaikum YouTube, this is Yan. Today I am in Tabriz in the northwestern part of Iran. I have been here for almost five days, but in the past days I have been working on my videos and didn't have the time to go out. So today is the day when my real journey starts. Tabriz is the fifth largest city in Iran. It's also the capital city of the East Azerbaijan province. Most of the population are Azerbaijani. They speak Azeri, a language that is very close to Turkish. Tabriz used to be a very important city on the Asian Silk Road. Uh, it has the world's largest roofed bazaar and it's famous for its carpet weaving. So today my plan is to take you on a tour to the bazaar. But before that, let's go back to four days ago when I had a very interesting experience exchanging money in Iran. I'm on my way to the bazaar and on the road I met him with the sangak bread. Uh, what's the name of this bread? Mamigim sangak. 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 Uzili. No, we give lavash. Lavash and sangak. You know what? As I'm going, you know, to sofane in our going. So much sofane holding, holding a lot, a lot. I already ate ahead. I met him like two or three minutes ago on the street. I saw him carrying this bread and then he was asking me if I want some bread. I said no, I went away and then he came back and he wanted to talk to me. It was so friendly. We are now in the free market area. Many people asking dollar, euro. So you need to compare the rate of different agencies and show the one that is better. 31,000. 31,000. Toman. This is 1 million real. This means 100,000 Toman. But between the 10 have a 5. Yeah. Uh, the five. purple one, 5. This but one is the biggest. This, this one is the biggest. Common. 100. This is the 50. 50. This is the 10. Ten. And that one, 2. 2. two. Here we are with my friend Vahid at the largest bazaar in the world. The Tabriz Historical Bazaar. So this bazaar has a history of more than how many years? This bazaar more than 60, 600 year old years because the Marco Polo uh, biggest adventure uh, right inside the book about the Tabriz Bazaar. Traveler Marco Polo was here during the 13th century and by then he described this place as one of the largest and busiest trading center on the Silk Road. And this bazaar has more than 6,000 stores, uh, 27 sub bazaars, and 25 cabaranceries like this. So let's start the journey. Yes, let's go. Before we start, well, he just told me that uh, bazaar is a kind of place for social life. So you don't come here to only buy and sell stuff. People really socialize. Yeah. They sit down, have a talk, chat with you. Bring the tea. Mm -hmm. So let's see, maybe we'll get invited for tea today. Salam, salam. <laughs> salam. So let's go. Um, bazaar is the very various. Every part selling the different things. For example, there is the leather bazaar selling the shoes, belts, and the bag with the leather. And here is it selling the uh, dress stuff. Fabric, clothes. Fabric, Close it, yeah. 
So every part, every bazaar has a, a specific products, right? Yes, right. Let's go this way. This way. <laughs> so someone recommended go to Mozaffari Bazaar. Uh -huh. Mozaffari Bazaar, um, center of the bazaar, also center of the silk carpet, selling the silk carpet. There is the so beautiful, mm -hmm. and then roof is the tall, and market is more larger than here that's the most beautiful bazaar yeah in this in this place right I can say it's the most beautiful bazaar inside the grand bazaar and now we are passing through the fabric section yeah there are lots of clothes and yeah. also the scarf men's clothes women's clothes mm -hmm. salam <laughs> Following Wahid here, now we are at the silk carpet bazaar section. Here is the tallest, beautifulest and famous part of the bazaar. Call it Muzaffariye Bazaar. Muzaffariye? Muzaffariye, name of the king of Qajarian dynasty. And selling the silk carpet. Very, very high price and valuable carpet. Right now we are in the carpet bazaar on both sides you can see beautiful shops with very very well made carpet and now our plan is to go into one carpet shop and have a look that carpet that market is the best I think. which one this one this one this is a typical Persian carpet with very beautiful patterns and as told by Vahid this is very expensive so how much, how much does it take to buy a carpet like this? That's around the twelve thousand US dollar. Twelve thousand. Yeah. Twelve thousand US dollars. Because sixty percent is silk and forty percent is wool. Sixty percent silk. Silk and forty percent is the. Forty percent wool. wool. Also, artful is because of the artful more than yet. This carpet have a more color. Yeah. If you have a more color, more valuable, more expensive. Another important thing is the Ratchamar metrics of the carpet. Every seven centimeter and. Uh, how many have a how many knots for example for this carpet per seven centimeters have a 40 knots if it have a more knots per seven centimeters more valuable more expensive that's a simple one this is a more complicated one knots of here can, uh, those are can the knots. numbering yeah. and it's the big yeah and this one this one is the a little um, bit much smaller much smaller which one is that one more more tiny more is smaller uh, even smaller this yeah. one yeah smaller than other and more detailable wow. and the maximum range he said 300 300 knots per seven, seven centimeters. Wow, 300 knots per seven centimeters. Yes. You should be uh, watched by magnified. There are many different kinds of carving in this bazaar. So those are the image, image carpet. Look at this. And uh, those. Because they have a different pattern and it's mainly used for decoration. And also, that's how they wake the carpet all by hand what kind of carpet is this one is that one is the image carpet for hanging the wall but before cut it the uh, extra wool because it's the wool yeah 
We are, we are after the bathing, yeah. going to Pardacht step, call it Pardacht, cutting this a long wool, yeah. you know, here you can see the bottom, oh, uh, that one is the ready. Uh. This one, before, uh, before Pardacht step, press the step, coloring the wool, second one, Baving. After that, her dog is cut the cut the wool extra wool and just make make this one so flat. How long does it take for him to to wave this carpet? We never two touch it. Talk about it. We don't talk so much. Twenty days. Ah, twenty days. Because it's small. It's small, relatively small. Merci, merci. Merci, merci. And following our heat, we're going to see this uh, parador. Which no, is... before parador. We are going to press a step. First step. Press a step. Buying the wood, going to coloring, second, waving. After that, Pardach the step, cut it this extra wood yeah. and sell it. <laughs> ah, so you can find the whole production chain in the bazaar. From coloring the fabric, from coloring the wool and silk to making the carpet. Find the small um, cotton yeah. wool mm -hmm. and then going to coloring. Okay. Salam. Salam. So here we are at the We are right now buying the one on the one rope. Do you want the silk one or wool one? Soak one. So this is the first step of carpet making. We're going to buy a small rope like that and then we're going to color it. It's a silk. Silk wool. Press a step. Buying the silk wool is the material of the carpet. After that for the coloring and second mm -hmm. uh, is the waving. We are right now going to coloring. Messi, Messi. So we are going to color full places for coloring this silk rope. Call it the here Rahli Khane. House, yeah, Rahli Khane. Rahli. Boyakhane in Turkish call it the Boyakhane means house of the color. Okay, let's go. This is the house of the color, the place where we're going to color the rope. <laughs> so that's what are we going to do? That is the natural food before coloring. Come to here and then So he's kind of comparing the color and then he will add some more. <laughs> that is a sample for the coloring. Yeah. After choose the color, uh, put inside the hot water yeah. and get the coloring. This is one of the most magical places I've been to in Hazar, the coloring factory for the carpet. So in this place, they bring the rope, whether it's wool or silk, and then they color it. So those are the workers. We have been working here for almost 50 years. This is the place where they cook the water and then they put the fabric inside. Okay. Which one do you like it? Red or... That. That's... That is the yellow one. <laughs> Inside the bowl, uh, coloring around the 100 old years ago. Wow, use this one for the coloring. Wow, 
Temperature between the 50 40 degrees not get the warmer, not get the hot yeah. because uh, that's and broken. It's a ceramic one. After the coloring, rules come to here for the dry. Hanging on the wall. That one is the wool. It's very shiny. This is wool. And this wool is silk. Wool more warmer than silk. So first we got a white rope and then we dye it and as a first step we are going to wave the carpet. It's not so easy to find because it's underground. Even if you visit a lot, you are unlikely to find this place. And without the heat I would never be able to see that. Salam! So that's artist waving this carpet. This one is right now is repairing. The size is not fixed. Yeah. Because uh, make it larger. Uh, so before it was narrow, and now yeah. he tried to make it larger, yes. wider. Yes, wider. This is our wood, orange wood, first step coloring. Right now, give to our artist to waving in the carpet. Making knots right now. Uh, this is the yeah. warp. Yeah. Take one of the warp and uh, under uh, under the warp and next the warp and make a knot. Make a knot. Wow. And, and then cut it. After the waving carpet like that. After the waving carpet like that. So the other side is like this. Yeah. Back, the back. This is the back. Mm -hmm. This is the front and this is the back. No, this is the front. This is the front. This is the front. This is the back. This is the back. Yeah, because we are have one step more. Yeah. Pardoch step. Cut it the extra wool. Merci, merci. Thank you so much, so much for explaining and showing me this. He said, if you have a, another explanation, have a question, I can uh, tell you. I'm having a tea with Mohammed, and meanwhile, they give me two small rolls of wool as a souvenir. Like, artists can work yeah. on one carpet for one year. One year, yeah, because that is also very love the carpet. The carpet, one of the our traditional things one of the our part of hurt yeah part of the history of iran iranian people love art yeah because that some of artists not left uh, and they sit on the loom horizontal loom and waving the one year two year the carpet I know that in China we often import carpet from Iran because it's a famous piece of artwork and however according to them they also import carpet from China and those are often machine made and they are relatively much cheaper than a carpet like this because in Iran weaving a big carpet can take an artist sometimes one year, two years. It's just an incredibly amount of hard work. Ah, this is the last step. What's the name of it? 
Name of the step Pardot. Pardot. Cut it the extra wood. After the way. Salam. 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 He's making a different type of carpet, right? He's waving the Shiraze. Shiraze around the side of the carpet. Shiraze. Yeah. Because keep it it and more nicely. So this is the last step. What's the name of it? Pardo. Pardo. The carpets made in the bazaar, all of them, they bring it here yes. to cut the wool. For, for the cut the extra wool? Yeah. And then go to shopping yeah. to selling. To sell. Yeah. It's the last step. This is the front. It's so shiny. Keychinin bloğa berjesteler ama. Berjeste. Second things. Yeah. You know some some places have a pile, long pile, like this. Roof of here is they have a. To give it a texture. Yeah, texture. Yeah. You buy scissor, cut it there around the. House, make here uh, bolded. Make it like a sacred, like a roof. Like a roof, yeah. Mm. Discovering how carpet is made in Tabriz is definitely the highlight of my journey. But in fact, carpet making cannot only be found in Tabriz, but also in many other cities in Iran, such as Isfahan, Shiraz, Qum, Kashan, etc. Because carpet making has been one of the most valued handicraft in Iran. So that's today's video. And if you want to support my work, please give me a thumb up or subscribe below or leave me a comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.